So we're going to start with the domain. There are three pillars of authentication from your domain, okay? Uh, what these, these are essentially cryptographic techniques that good actors, you know, people who, are, who send legitimate email, that they all engage in to let the rest of the internet and the rest of the email world know that they're not a bad actor, that they're not a spammer or a spoofer or a fisher. So these three things are SPF, DKIM, and DMARC, okay? And I could spend a long time talking about exactly how these work, and it would be very boring. So instead, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to know as a salesperson in order to get the most um, out of your email deliverability and set things up properly. So we'll talk about these in order. SPF is the first thing that you set up. And if this doesn't mean anything to you, I'm going to show you how to do this in like two seconds. So don't worry. SPF is the first thing you set up. Okay. It's a TXT record you add to your domain name system. You set this up first and then you set up DKIM. And that stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail. Once you've set SPF and DKIM up, you need to set up DMARC. And DMARC stands for Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance. It's very easy to remember, of course. As I mentioned, this is like, it's fairly complex technical stuff, um, but in practice, it's not that scary. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this right, right here. I actually went and bought a domain uh, to do a, an example here. I bought apollolovesyou.com. And I use Namecheap for this, but there are a million providers. This is what's called a DNS provider, domain name system or service. Uh, GoDaddy is one. Um, Google is another. There, there's a million out there. So what you want to do when you go into your domain name system is go into advanced DNS, something like this. And if you don't know how to do this for your provider, just Google it. Just Google, you know. SPF GoDaddy or, or whatever you use. And what you're going to see here is these records. There's a bunch of different records here. CNAME record, TXT record, URL redirect record. Okay. Now, depending on the email provider that you use, they all have slightly different, um, they all have slightly different setup uh, steps. We use Google. So all I had to do is just Google, you know, Google SPF setup. And Google has step-by-step -step instructions for what to do. And what you do here for SPF basically is I'm going to hit add new record. And I'm going to go to TXT record. All three of these are TXT records, okay? Go at, and then I'm going to paste what Google tells me to paste here. And then I hit save changes. Once I've done that for SPF, I do the exact same thing for DKIM and the exact same thing for DMARC. The thing is, guys, it can take 24 to 48 hours for this to update and, and be reflected. So... You can't, you need to prepare accordingly. If you set up a new email account or a new domain name, it's going to take you a couple days to get your SPF, DKIM, and DMARC in place before you can start sending outbound. I'll zoom in, Scott. Okay, relax. Uh, I will, uh, yes. So you need to set these things up, okay, in order to start sending outbound. So Jordan, we'll send you the recording. Don't worry. Um, if this looks complicated for you guys uh, and you feel like, hey, I, I don't even know how to do this. Like that was too fast. That was too much. I'm actually going to share with you something that I made uh, right now. I actually made a checklist for exactly how to do this. So I'm going to share it with you. It's called our email deliverability checklist. Uh, let me go back to my slides so I don't make you guys stare at me while I do that. Oh, sorry. And I'm actually going to send you guys a link right now where you can all download the checklist. Okay. So here it is. And this checklist is a step-by-step -step instruction on how to set up everything relating to deliverability. And you guys can just download it right there. Uh, it'll send it to you.